first of all, let me say I hope you enjoyed that fireworks show. Uh, didn't actually have an intro or anything in that video, but basically um, it's the 4th of July weekend and we went down to visit our friends who live in St. Charles, Missouri. And Missouri does not have any restrictions regarding fireworks, unlike Illinois where everything is pretty much closed down. And their little community, Newtown, within St. Charles, had their own fireworks show, and they do every year. So, and we have not seen them since pre-COVID-19 last year sometime. And so, I was thinking possibly of doing some other vlogs, but we were only down there for a couple days, and everything went, you know, really quick. And as I said, we haven't seen them for a while, so we mostly spent some time just hanging out with them. And it was a fun, relaxing little weekend. But now, um, I am back in Illinois and actually just leaving Lake Zurich. I literally just got home with the family hour or so ago, switched vehicles, and I am now heading north to Wisconsin. I will give you details in a little bit. But yes, it is about 9 o'clock, and I'm heading up north to Wisconsin to meet up. I'm by myself, but going up there overnight to meet up with my family who are spending a few days up in Wisconsin. Uh, I have a couple more days off work, so I'm making this after driving six hours going to be driving another couple hours up north into Wisconsin to visit them for a day and might be able to get some more interesting vlogs out of this trip, including this one that we are starting now. So continuing on the road. But yep, the sun is setting and just continuing up north. On Route 12, just past Wakanda, I will pick it back up once I get something interesting. Well, we are on 12, about ready to leave Illinois and make our first stop. Yes, we have officially entered Wisconsin. And we're going to quickly turn here to one of my favorite little gas stations. Stops here in Genoa City, Wisconsin. This little mobile station is quite unique. They got a little restaurant ice cream parlor decent size convenience store connected to the gas station little bakery pretty neat stuff most of it's probably closed at this time but uh, I always have to stop here while I'm passing through Genoa City. Yeah, this is not your typical gas station. Gas is 209, not too bad, so we're gonna fill up here. Yeah, it didn't really need much, but it's filled up. And mainly wanted to clean my windows.
restaurants over there. Everything closed right now, obviously, but. This is the convenience store. Got the bakery here. Got a little seating area over here. There, some casino slots here. Restrooms are apparently closed. That's lovely. Of course, the restaurant's closed as well. I think we may have found our road snack here. All right, back to the road. A little disappointed the restroom wasn't open, but uh, find somewhere else to stop for that. But let's continue on. I'll save you another food review, but yeah, this is basically what we're dealing with. We have a ham wrap and we're gonna eat this on the road. So this is my kind of traffic. We are continuing west on 12, almost up to 43. Well, it's 10.23 p.m. and we just passed through Elkhorn, Wisconsin, continuing west on 12. Yeah, I've done some weird vlogs and travel vlogs before. This may be up there. Maybe the top five for weirdness. I'm not sure, but it's definitely up there. But, gotta find new and interesting things to do, so... Let's travel up to Wisconsin in the middle of the night. Just entered Rock County. We are continuing west on 12. And... That is going to be kind of a theme here, because where I'm going, there's kind of a obvious way to go, and then there's the, let's do something different, something adventurous, route. And even though it is 1043 currently, we're going to take that little more adventurous route. A Route 12 themed route. Now what is significant about Route 12? Well, we left Lake Zurich, Illinois on Route 12 and we are still on U.S. Route 12. So, keep that in mind as we move on. One of the first big towns we've entered in a while, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. It is 10.48 p.m. currently. See, 
that's the good thing. When you don't always take the quickest route, sometimes you don't get to see cute little downtowns like this. This is downtown Fort Atkinson. Looks like we're getting ready to cross the Rock River. stay on 12, which is our theme. Should be pretty obvious by now. Decent sized town, that's for sure. It says East 12, but we want to stay on West 12, so I think we got to go this way. Can save. That's a Wisconsin staple right there. Right up there pretty much with uh, Piggly Wiggly. getting closer to Madison, but we are not there yet. sign, but yes, West 12, we are still on 12. Alright, we have reached a significant milestone. We are approaching I-90. It is 11.16. might want to go on I-90, but not this time. We are continuing straight because we have to stick on Route 12. That is the rule. So, see you later, I-90. My apologies. But we have to continue on this way. And of course, passing I 90, yes, we are a fan. 
officially in the Madison, Wisconsin area, so making some good progress. First time ever traveling through Sauk City, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, 
and what do you know, they have a Piggly Wiggly, of course. And yep, we are still on Route 12, of course.
welcome to Wisconsin Dells. It has been too long since I've been here. I have never vlogged here. Memories by Wayne did not even exist the last time I was up here. It is awesome to be back. Rick Wilcox, a very awesome magic show. So this vlog from here is going to kind of serve as a reaction video for me as we drive through. See if I notice any changes. See if this brings up any memories along the way. Billboard over there for Paul Bunyan's Cook Shanty Restaurant. Yeah, stay tuned. All I will say there. Oop, there's another billboard for the Rick Wilcox Magic Show. Take flight. Wilderness Aerial Adventure Ride. Okay, I don't know. That has something to do with wilderness. I'm not interested in any of those fancy water parks. That's not where we are going tonight. We are crossing Dell Creek. Somewhere along these woods on the left, I think, was the old wonder spot. Long, long gone. Oop, there we go. Dell's Army Ducks. Yes, that is classic. Not the original ducks. Definitely not as good as the original. I have done those once or twice, but... No, I stick with the original. And we are going to go north on 23. It's been a while since I've been up here, but I think this is the way we gotta go here, so. And the sign over there, welcome to Lake Delton. We're on the main north south drag here for all the main attractions in our we are still in Lake Delton technically of course the bigger Wisconsin Dells area consists of Wisconsin Dells and Lake Delton Tommy Bartlett there's something I have not done in forever it's gonna be a lot of things here that I have not done in forever I have not taken a full Wisconsin Dells vacation since 2005. Before I started working full time and college and all that other fun stuff. Tommy Bartlett. A Fairfield Inn and Suites, which I don't remember ever seeing that before. Uh, the Tommy Bartlett's Geese Guy and Stage Show. Classic, classic. Mount Olympus, which has grown into its own crazy resort, um, you know, with the resort itself, uh, the go-karts, they got a water park, which they transformed Family Land, I believe, into their own water park. Go-karts are my favorite thing, and might be doing some go-karts soon, shall see. Classic t-shirt shop. Ah, it, it's just, it feels good to be back here. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, since 2005, I've done quick little weekend things up here. But very short trips and a lot of things that I have not done since. Uh, classic motels. There's Flamingo. Again, more Mount Olympus stuff. That has just grown to be a huge thing and they apparently have been 
buying out other motels or something there. I really don't know. Noah's Ark. Oh, yeah. Noah's Ark. Um, not a big fan of the big water parks like that. My thing with the water parks was definitely more um, Riverview Park and Waterworld, which is long gone as well, unfortunately. That was more my love all the water parks that I liked. Noah's Ark was never really my thing. So now we're going through again. I don't know what is going on with all these Mount Olympus resort things. It's just crazy. I don't remember any of that. Uh, this Rome thing is also got to the Mount Olympus. Okay, there's the indoor water park, which sort of connected to what used to be Familyland back in the day. I actually did Familyland once, I believe, before all the Mount Olympus stuff. They really got some outdoor water slides there. Um, the go-karts are somewhere back there, I believe. I see some roller coasters as well, and yeah, I believe the go-karts this is really the only thing that interests me in particular about Mount Olympus. I believe they're mixed in with there somewhere. It's very dark, it's hard to see, but there are some roller coasters back there. Again, more of these Mount Olympus buildings. And yes, we are entering Wisconsin Dells officially now. And more with the roller coasters, Mount Olympus. Uh, it's just so nice to be back here. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of feels here. A lot of feels. Oh, there's that upside down White House thing, which I don't know if I've ever actually done that. Top Secret is called. Um, some vloggers I know have done that. Uh, the carpet bagger, in particular. Uh, there's a classic. Feed and pet the deer. Wisconsin Deer Park might be doing that. Uh, oh, Tim Bavati Wildlife Park. Yes. This does not bring me good feels because this is what used to be Riverview Park and Waterworld. My favorite little amusement park and water park and yeah, long gone. At least within the last 10 years or so. And yeah, no more, no more of that. So, lovely. Fort Dells. One of the oldest attractions in the Wisconsin Dells area, if I'm not mistaken. This is the site of Fort Dells. Modeled after Frontierland at Disneyland, Fort Dells was built here in 1959, bringing the Disney experience to Dells visitors for 26 years. And now it's a Walgreens. <laughs> I actually sort of remember Fort Dells, or what was left of it, very little. Very, very young. The only thing I remember about this was a little miniature train and going on that. This is in the mid 80s probably in that time period. Um, yeah, and it was closed down not much longer after that. But this is kind of a little memento to that. Sports cars out there. A little bit more about Fort Dells on the other side of the sign. Featured a whole bunch of stuff, including a stagecoach, railroad, paddle wheels, steamboat, swinging bridge, blockhouse exhibits, escape tunnel, amphitheater, Indian Isle, 
Frontier Homestead, and Schoolhouse. Gold mine, antique car ride, haunted house, children's farm, timber trail, totem tower, black bark holdup. Okay. I do not remember all that, but I do remember the train. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Kind of reminds me of uh, what I've seen some of my fellow vloggers kind of right before Disneyland was coming out. Sounded a lot like what was being done down in uh, Knott's Berry Farm. Interesting. And so, how about that? Yes, indeed, we have taken U.S. Route 12 from my home in Lake Zurich, Illinois, all the way up to Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. Yes, it can be done, folks.